Good morning, and welcome back to the Ram Report Morning Show. I'm your host, Alejandro Mendoza, as always, bringing you the Heightstown Scoop. March has arrived, and with it has come one of the most greatest sporting events of the year, March Madness. I bring you Alex Fayez with more on the story. Here we go, Rams. Everybody's favorite time of the year, March Madness. The official 68 team bracket was revealed on Sunday, with New Jersey College Rutgers making its first appearance in 30 years. The favorites for this year's tournament are the University of Illinois, University of Gonzaga, and Baylor University. Some upsets that we can see happening are Ohio over Virginia, Winthrop over Villanova, and UCSB over Creighton. Now let's hear from Mr. Vincent as he presents his bracket for this year. He has Gonzaga versus Michigan, and Villanova versus West Virginia in the Final Four. In the championship game, he has Michigan versus West Virginia, with Michigan coming out on top 89-85. to 85. Um, I have Michigan playing West Virginia in the finals. My rationale behind um, West Virginia, I just thought they have as good a chance as anybody. So I picked uh, West Virginia that way. My overall winner is the University of Michigan. A couple thoughts with the University of Michigan. I have a couple of uh, friends of mine that went there. Um, I like the colors. Uh, the other thing is one of the big reasons why I'm going with the University of Michigan is I like that they have a former player as their head coach. That's kind of some of my thoughts. A lot of times I went through some of my picks and uh, as I said before, kind of just went with my heart over probably the, the stats and that, that for, uh, you know, making those decisions. Thanks, Mr. Vincent. We wish everybody the best of luck on their brackets this year, and we hope that one of you can make the perfect bracket. I'm Alex Fayez with the Ram Report. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Alex. Let's hope we get a very exciting tournament this year after missing out on the last year. The 2021 Grammys took place the previous weekend, and just in case you missed it, here's Parker Bennett with coverage of the event. The 2021 Grammy Awards are now behind us. Hosted by Trevor Noah this past Sunday with barely any live attendance except for a select few nominees and performers. One of these nominees though, the legendary Beyonce, who absolutely had an amazing night of her own. She led the field with 9 nominations and after picking up the 28th Grammy win of her career, became the female artist with the most wins ever and the singer with the most wins ever, male or female, so definitely an amazing accomplishment for Beyonce. Two of her four wins on Sunday came from her appearance in the hit song Savage by Megan Thee Stallion which took home the awards for Best Rap Song and Best Rap Performance, though it did ultimately lose Record of the Year to Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. The night also featured many powerful performances, including but not limited to those of Roddy Rich and DaBaby, not to be confused with Lil Baby, all three of whom took advantage of their time on stage to make powerful political statements. As with every year, though, the choices of this year's winners are not without their controversy, with many hip-hop fans believing that the bigger picture, Lil Baby's take on police brutality from last year should have won either Best Rap Song or Best Rap Performance, where it did ultimately lose to Savage in both categories. To name some other notable winners, uh, Taylor Swift took home Album of the Year with Folklore, and Her won Song of the Year with the song I Can't Breathe. I'm Parker Bennick with The Ram Report, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Parker. Hopefully one thing we can all agree on is Beyonce's historic win being an excellent thing for musical culture as a whole. Our hybrid learning schedule at HHS is set to change once again, this time with more students entering the building. Here's t -Lock with more information. There are some changes in store for hybrid learning at Highstone High School this April. As of now, students are separated into two cohorts, both of which come in twice a week, and some students are eligible for four times a week due to phase three. Phase 3 has unable students from cohort A and cohort B who need more academic support in person to go to school 4 days a week with all the safety precautions. With spring break coming up soon, the district is planning on having a week of remote learning following this break as students and faculty are expected to be traveling. After this week of remote learning, instead of 2 days a week, students will be in school for 4 days a week with social distancing and mass rules in place and Wednesdays still be being all remote. Requests for changes will be considered based on the availability of space within classrooms. Students may need to wait until the space is available. I'm Tilak Patel for REM Report, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Tilak. It's going to be nice to see some of our friends in the building within a few weeks of time. Rams, 
As we adjust to the daylight savings time, you may have noticed something about the weather outside. Let's send it over to Josh Carmona to tell us about it. If by chance you've taken a look outside recently, you've probably noticed a pretty stark difference from the way things were just one month ago. Where February submerged us in a snowy tundra, March has come to pull us out and lead us to spring. Last week we saw temperatures as high as 73 degrees, and although it's dipped back down, and right now it's quite overcast, it stands to go back up this weekend. With all this lovely weather on the way, there are lots of activities that our Rams will be up to. You can go on a walk, or jog, or... You can even hike. You can play sports with your friends! You can have a picnic, outside. You can even go bird watching. I think I spy a canary. It stands to reason that all activities should still be performed safely, following the current COVID guidelines and procedures. If you're going to be around others that aren't in your family, wear a mask and exercise common sense. Have fun in the great outdoors, Rams. I'm Josh Carmona with the Ram Report. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Josh. Let's all enjoy the outdoors as this lovely weather sets in. And with that, the episode of the Ram Report is concluded. Tune back in next week for another helping of the Heightstown Scoop. Stay safe, have a good weekend, and as always, have a ramtastic day.